Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video and today we are sharing with you the experience that we had with this great tech gadget, the pet feeder from Wands View. It was actually something that I had been looking for, not only because through our cameras we're being able to record what our pets do, but also for the very convenient option of programming your pet's feeding and being able to remotely trigger such task. It comes well packaged with actually all information being accurate as we've been able to test and as you'll see in a moment. Everything included comes in the upper compartment, which you'll actually have to unlock. You'll find the desiccant, silica gel, Type-C USB power cord, which by the way is reinforced for heavy duty, the user's guide, the USB power adapter, the tray that holds the stainless steel feeding bowl, and that's it. I strongly advise you to take a look around your feeder and identify all the buttons, ports, optional features. For example, the D batteries you can power the unit with, also where the USB port is located, how the tray attaches to the main unit, and many more. You can easily detach this upper component of the feeder to access the mechanism coupling or the memory slot. The silica gel is optional if you want to control humidity in the food chamber as it is a hygroscopic substance and it absorbs extra humidity on air. I very quickly decided to put it to the test and the first step was to install the Wands View app. We did so by just reading the QR code on the box. We have used it in the past for testing Galaiu cameras, which would actually be a great complement to this service. We like them very much for image quality and reliability. You can create an account in no time with Google, but I would make sure you complete the setup by creating an independent password. Setting it up takes about two minutes, including the time that it takes for you to create an account and following the instructions, selecting the right device, making sure that the light is blinking, and something to note here is that you have to make sure before setting up this unit that your Wi-Fi has the 2.4 GHz band active and that it has the same name of the Wi-Fi you're using on your cell phone at the time of setting it up. Otherwise, you may think that there is a problem with the device or your network and it will refuse to connect. Point the generated QR code with the Wi-Fi credentials to the lens of the camera and you'll be done. Device will announce that it has connected to the network and also that it has finished setup. It actually will become part of your home security system. The three buttons in front are for the microphone recording, feeding manually and locking the unit. Once you're ready, you'll be able to access all those cool features that you would expect from a device like this one. Some are related to the camera and some to the feeder, but all of them from a single interface. No problems here and for the camera we have to point out that recordings, as you can see right here, have a great quality, a good night vision with optional infrared support and all those features that you could expect from a standalone wireless camera. I then tested how much food is dispensed for every feeding setup of the device, so I made sure that I would dispense the appropriate amount my dog is accustomed to. He immediately loved it. Since he was small, we have been feeding him three times a day and lately it had become a problem as we are not here at the time he needs it. Not anymore, as I programmed his lunch time and I guess he could not be happier. Also, if you're running late, you can just connect remotely and feed your pet. It just could not get any easier. We have been very surprised not only for the features that this unit provides, but also for its reliability, as we have always been able to connect. Something very similar happened when we tested the Galaiu cameras. Another cool feature that we liked and immediately used was the ability to share access to the device. So I sent an invitation to my daughter and she was then able to feed my dog. Important to note here is that she already had to have the account created as it is an invitation to join and not to create the account. Things to highlight, the built-in speaker that has a powerful output enough to call out your dog, the low food indicator and the feeding record. All of them very useful. Remember that the idea with our videos here is to show you exactly what we experienced with this unit, so if you're in the decision-making process of buying one of these great pet feeders, you make an informed decision. See you next time.